An assignment to Peru turned into a nightmare for Chicago artists trying to get back home when the coronavirus pandemic set in. Arts correspondent Angel Edo spoke with the artist about that experience. Sharon Bladholm is back in her studio on the city's west side, finishing up the work she started on a recent expedition in Peru. I learned that there's still so much out there to be discovered. As an artist interested in science, nature, conservation, and biodiversity, Bladholm goes on expeditions to explore new wildlife throughout the world, and she draws what she sees. I'm somebody that goes out into the field with scientists and then comes, does, I do as much work as I possibly can when I'm on site. Um, of course, I can't do everything. I don't have a kiln to fire ceramics. In each one of these expeditions, I then produce a large scale body of work. That became a way to reach a large audience and educate people through my art, through the vehicle of art, about these issues of conservation, biodiversity. And I think art can grab people sometimes more than just reading. Bladholm says she used watercolors for about 95% of the work created from her trip to Peru. I would walk through the rainforest, gather seeds, plants, um, too many things to possibly draw all at once. So I would draw what I could on site and then photograph other things because obviously I can't bring any plant material home. Bladholm also taught a drawing workshop to young women and children in the village, having them create their own art as well. Now what was supposed to be about a two week tour ended up being much longer. Bladholm, like many Americans, found herself stuck overseas due to COVID-19 travel restrictions. When I planned the trip and even when I left, there was absolutely no virus in Peru. Bladholm left Chicago on March 12th and said by the 16th, everything had changed. The fourth day I was in Peru, President Vizcarra of Peru would decide basically when the first few uh, virus cases, there was still no virus when I arrived there, but he took a very hard line approach and decided to close all borders and stop all road, river, or air travel. After several failed attempts to get home, Bladholm decided to reach out to the U.S. Embassy. But first, she had to get out of the jungle she was staying in, with help from her host at the Grand Amazon Lodge. When we did get out, he, he had to, to get an escort of two policemen and one guy from the Ministry of Tourism. That's how shut down everything was. So with that police escort, we were able to then go the hour and 15 minutes down the road and get to Iquitos, which we then went and checked into a hotel where everybody who was at the hotel were all people that were stranded. From there, Bladholm was able to get a flight from Iquitos to Lima with the help of the embassy and eventually made it home. It was very frightening to think I could be stuck here for two months watching my life unravel. Despite the hectic adventure home, Bladholm says she stands by her dedication to preserving these habitats and doing her part to create art and educate. With the crisis that we have, it's super important to reach younger people too. They're going to be the stewards of the earth. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Edo.